Hey, what's going on party people? Christian Hanahara. This won't be a really long video, uh, but we are here to talk today about the 4K release from Scream Factory. Factory. Of The Howling. The Howling is one of my favorite werewolf films. Uh, what a cool year. 1981, right? The Howling. American Werewolf in London. Wolfen. Full Moon High, and I'm sure there's others. What a cool year for werewolf movies. If you were a werewolf fan, you were busy in 81. Um, reviewing this movie seems a little pointless to me at this point. I mean, I've talked about The Howling a bunch. Uh, it's, my, it's probably my favorite werewolf film ever. It's that, then American Werewolf in London. I mean, right next to it. Those are, you know, there's always the debate, which one? You know, those are the two. Uh, in some ways, I think American Werewolf is a more dominant film and a more, uh, you know, professional film. But in, this, in other ways, the reason The Howling is my favorite is that tone, man. I just love that spooky tone. And Dee Wallace is so good in The Howling. You know, both, both of those movies are great. But we're not here to debate those two. We're here today to talk about my favorite werewolf film, The Howling. Uh, this is the 4K release from Scream Factory. I'm getting weird with 4K. I just kind of get them when I feel like it. If it's a film that I love and I watch a lot, what the hell? I'm gonna go for it. Um, but here it is, The Howling 4K. Okay, so putting this movie on, you know, The Howling is a movie. It was a modest budgeted film, very modest uh, at the time. Afco Embassy, if you know that, they were a low budget production company, but they were a little bit higher than like the really independent stuff back in the day. So Afco Films usually had a decent little look to them, and The Howling was that way. But my DVDs of The Howling always looked terrible. The Blu-ray of The Howling looked pretty good. The Steelbook looked good. So I, I'll be honest with you, I really wasn't expecting the world with this 4K, but it looked, it was good. Let me tell you, the cool thing about this that really kind of surprised me, obviously the, this is the new 2021 4K restoration that Screen Factory got done. They certainly did no kind of dnr digital noise reduction as it's called or anything like that but what blew me away was how clean it looked like i didn't I, I was getting right up on the tv to see there really wasn't much film grain at all on the image it was just pristine it was almost like i don't this may be a bad analogy but let me just say it this way it was almost like some like when the howling got filmed somebody got in their delorean hit 88 miles per hour, went back in time, grabbed the master, and brought it to 2021 and, and restored it for 4K because it looked so pristine and clean. It was just interesting because, you know, sometimes you watch these 4Ks and you see this natural, beautiful film grain, and maybe that, maybe that has nothing to do with the age of the film or whatever. Maybe it just has to film grain is film grain, and you'll see it sometimes and you won't see it other times. I don't know. That could be a horrible analogy, but all I'm trying to say is the howling looked remarkably good on 4K. And I, after watching it, I was thinking to myself, well, why shouldn't it look good? This is a Scream Factory getting this done. They're, they do a good job. They don't cheap out or, or do some kind of like bad thing with their, with their restorations. Now this, this excuse me, I'm, I got to stand corrected. I'm reading right here. This restoration was from Studio Canal. And they put their release of the 4K out overseas too. So I'm obviously, if you want to get any of these, I'm sure they all look, are the same transfer. So they got Studio Canals, but Studio Canal is a very reputable company out, out across the pond. I know that their 4Ks look amazing. So all I'm trying to say is that this looked remarkably amazing, and I was so thrilled watching it. Uh, and the cool thing was, I mean, the film really holds up extremely well against high-definition scrutiny. The transformation scenes were money. Um, it was great. I mean, I, I, I was thrilled. I, I got to give the picture a perfect 10. Uh, it really was that good. I got the same feeling, despite having bought the 4K Blu-ray steelbooks for, of this movie. For some reason, this title, I got that same feeling of watching Halloween 4 and 5 on, on 4K for the first time. I was like, oh my God, this film looks amazing. So I loved to death the how good the picture quality was on this the howling i i will never probably ever watch those steel books or blu-rays again i mean this one is just remarkable so yeah if if you are a fan of the howling and you want to get this i mean you will be very happy with the picture quality 
Uh, but let me say, in terms of special stuff, I don't think there's anything particularly new. Uh, they got the new restoration, obviously. I t- you know, there's an interview with D. Wallace, fun fur film, that very well could have been on the still book and the Blu-ray. Uh, I didn't see it on my Scream Factory DVD on the back. If it's new, awesome. It was, I mean, that was a beautiful interview. D. Wallace is such a human being. She talks about, you know, oh, I just wanted to go get dinner this day when they were filming, or I wanted to do this this day. So she was lovely in the spe- that documentary. One of my favorite things in here is uh, 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 this guy, one of the producers, uh, he, I forgot, which, what is his name? I think it's Stephen Lane. Uh, he talks about every howling, how it got made, and how he was just like, well, we, we ended up making another one. And then we that one did okay. They thought, let's do one more. So there's great special features on here. But in terms of new, there may not be anything new. But if that D. Wallace one is new, it was great. Uh, there's audio commentaries with D. Wallace, Joe Dante, Gary Bradner, the D. Wallace interview, the executive producer interviews, cut to shreds, interview with the editor interview with the co-writers there's vintage making ofs horrors hollowed grounds i mean you're gonna get a lot of special features so um you know here you know so i'm really glad to have this let me say that because i'm a huge howling fan i watch this film more often than not quite frankly um you know these 4ks aren't exactly the cheapest thing in the world so really you know if you don't own the film at all and you want to get the howling on 4k go for it um if you are just a massive fan You'll be really happy with the picture quality. I was thrilled with the picture quality. So, you know, just gauge your interest. Uh, gauge your interest if, if you are a big fan. I mean, you'll, you'll be really happy. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to give the Howling 4K uh, two thumbs up for its superb picture quality. I didn't expect new special features. It is what it is. But I'm going to get my money's worth. I watch this film so, so often. I just love it to death. So... Uh, yeah, guys, so that's good. That's going to be it. I'm not going to keep make this a, a long one. So the Howling, really cool, really cool new restoration. Studio Canal, let me give them the props. Studio Canal did this transfer. Remarkable. I've actually got a four-pack Studio Canal. John Carpenter 4K set. It's got Escape from New York, The Fog, They Live, and Prince of Darkness. And those all look remarkable. So thumbs up Studio Canal. A lot of people were telling me I probably should have got the Studio Canal releases because they look cool, but I don't know. This This one's fine, you know. And the the Blu-ray has the same transfer. I would, I, you know, I, I popped in the Blu-ray and they both look good. So two discs, a 4K and a Blu-ray disc. So money. I love the Howling. So there it is, guys. It's available. I know people were seeing them at Best Buy. So you can get it online, Scream Factory, or go check your Best Buy for it. The Howling. Love you guys. See you next time.